Ah, forgot to cut the bottom. Scott Brown here, and today's exciting episode. We line a garage with plywood. So first we go back to this morning here at Placemakers where I'm grabbing my red line plywood. This is it here. Now this is a pretty inexpensive plywood because it's a poplar core with a hardwood veneer. Now I don't know what kind of hardwood it is but it looks very nice. So I think the poplar is the cheaper part and therefore makes the lining more affordable so we can use it for garages and it can still look nice. Alright, so I guess this is the before shot. This is the garage walls. And at first we talked about putting plasterboard on here, but I recommend a plywood as a more sort of durable and I think a better looking finish. And the client went with that, so now we're doing plywood. Wish I could take credit for this, but uh, it's like the perfect amount of insulation for this garage. Oh, there's some small offcuts in here. And we're fully insulated. Now we can start planning our sheets. So this next sheet here is same again, 1200, but I've got a couple of bolts here. This is like a post that helps hold the structure of this garage. And um, it was slightly thicker than the wall framing. So I planed it back to get it pretty flush. But there's a couple of bolts here that I can't, obviously can't plane away. So we're gonna have to work around that. Another big advantage with plywood in a garage is that this stuff is 12 mil thick, half an inch. So when it's that thick, you can screw to it. A garage is the type of place where you put shelves and hang brooms and rakes and so you can pretty much hang them wherever you want when the wall is plywood. Look at that, clean. Just 
just had my lunch, all by myself. <sighs> I'm working on prices and stuff like that to get big enough jobs for Paito and I. It's always better to get the A-Team together. So hopefully very soon the A-Team will be together. Well, one of the last episodes I was putting a TV up and now I'm taking a TV down. Uh-huh. Got it. All right, slight alteration to be made before this one goes up. See that beam up there? It sticks out more than the wall. So I need to bring the wall out to line up with the beam. And the main reason for that is we want the ply to eventually go all the way up to the roof like this plasterboard is. And if that beam's in the way, then you can't really do that. Here's an example of when I use the 16 gauge to coke here. I want it to hold a bit better. And you're not going to see it so the holes don't matter. Bigger nails, better hold. I saw the big sheets up. <sighs> TV on. And all these ones here. And then tomorrow I'm going to jump above that garage door. But for now, pack up time. I like doing jobs like that. Something a bit different, doing the plywood. Cleaner, cleaner, much cleaner than doing the plasterboard. A little bit more work, but you get a way better result, I reckon. It's been a crazy summer here in New Zealand. The rain hasn't been here, just simply hasn't been here for months. Um, so why not end this exciting episode with a little link to the next video where I'll finish this garage off, and also a beautiful summery scene here in New Zealand.